Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek sponsored by Dell and Intel. Today's topics include Microsoft's launch of its Dynamics CRM 2016, why the Paris terrorists didn't encrypt their communications when planning their attacks, a disclosure that the VTech data breach hacker obtained more customer details than originally reported, and a claim that Amazon is working on an Apple TV app. The latest edition of Microsoft's customer relationship management software, Dynamics CRM 2016, is now generally available. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016 is available on-premises and as cloud-delivered software in 44 languages and 130 markets. Microsoft has been steadily beefing up its CRM capabilities through a mixture of acquisitions and integrations with the company's growing Office and Azure cloud ecosystems. A new analysis reveals that the Paris attackers didn't use encryption to communicate, but instead exchanged messages openly, in some cases publicly, about their plans. Instead of using sophisticated message encryption and brilliant tradecraft, it seems that the reason the attackers were able to communicate so effectively is because of the low-tech nature of their communications and because the intelligence community simply missed it. The bulk of the attack plotters also lived in close proximity, which allowed them to simply discuss their plans in person. More details about the full extent of the VTech Holdings data breach has emerged. As it turns out, much more personal information was taken than first believed, according to a report from Motherboard, which claims to have been contacted by the hacker behind the data breach. The hacker claims they were able to obtain 190 gigabytes of photos, including both children and parents. The photos are being stored by VTech, along with chat and audio logs between parents and children, generated as part of VTech's Kid Connect service. Amazon, which dropped sales of Apple TV devices in October because the devices didn't offer dedicated access to Amazon's streaming instant video offerings, is now apparently working on an Apple TV app that rumors say will be released soon. Word of the pending Apple TV app from Amazon was revealed in a November 27th Twitter post by Dan Boston Weeks, the lead iOS engineer for software vendor Madefire, which builds applications for animated motion books. Amazon has not officially announced such an app, so it is possible that it is just a rumor. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.